hi, welcome back to Sage and Brush Watercolors. Uh, we're back to the Lighthouse series, and <clears throat> in the last video, I had I had ma used art masking fluid, and I had protected the buildings, and we put in the ocean in the background. So I took I took all that masking fluid off, and I applied masking fluid again this morning <clears throat> on areas I don't want to protect because today we're just going to put some shadowing in on the building. Okay, now, uh, <clears throat> what I have to keep in mind is the direction of the, my light source, and I'm going to have it coming this way. So, that, that way I can determine what areas of, of these buildings will be in shadow. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of warm warm color <clears throat> really almost a red but just the slightest bit just the slightest hint of red and if I don't want it to be too strong I just add more water just a slight little bit of warmth on this white this white white paper just a little bit to warm it up hardly noticeable but it changes the white white it warms up the white white paper and I'm just putting that on <clears throat> evenly on all the white areas and see I protected the areas I don't want to paint with art masking fluid so we're just going to warm up the natural color of the paper and then I have to let that dry before we continue. Okay, that's dry. And I'm keeping uh, two, two water jars on hand with, with clean water. Uh, just to make sure that I always do have clean water. So now I'm going to put in a little bit of shading on each building. And I, I'm going to start with that, that combination, the same basic combination I use for the snow, which is uh, uh, cobalt blue and uh, Payne's gray. Only in this case, I'm adding just a, a little bit of ultramarine blue, too. And I'm making it uh, not, very, not very strong. Meaning, I have a lot of water added to it. And then I'm just brushing it on the parts of the building that I know are going to be in, in shadow because the light source is over this way. There will be a little shadow under the eave of this building. In fact, putting a shadow there uh, shows you that it's an overhang, overhanging eave. There'll be white hitting the front of the face of the chimneys. And because this area here is a cylinder, I need, as I go around it, I need to have have it get lighter and lighter. So I, so I take my brush away, clean it good in the water, and then just keep moving my way forward. So there's more pigment over here to make it look more roundish. OK, 
Okay, so we did a very light, warm, hardly noticeable color first of red over the white paper, and now I put a just a beginning, very light shadow uh, paint on on both buildings. So what I'm going to do next is it's what they call layering. Like after you put one one color on, you let it dry. I'm going to go back and strengthen all the shadows. Uh, I just keep putting darker darker coats of my blue and gray until I get it to where I want it. Okay, what I've, what I've been doing is putting in the shadows, the shadow side of the buildings, because uh, I know my light is coming this way. Uh, and uh, the way I've been doing it, it's called layering. In watercolor terms, it's called layering. I put in a thin coat of shadow first that you saw, I let it dry completely. And that was a kind of a warm, a warm color, uh, or, or I should say, I put in a cool color first. I put in the blue. And then I went over, after it dried, with a warmer, almost like a brown and red combination, just, just a very slight coating. When that dried, I went back and put some more blue, gray, more cool colors. So, so you alternate warm and cool colors in real thin applications and, and to, until I get the shadow as dark as I want it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going over it until I, until I have the shadows standing out or as dark as I want so that the light, so that the white part pops forward like I want it to. So that's all we're going to do today. And uh, I think I have a, have a good bit of contrast. I hope it shows up on the video. Okay, today's memo is um, Life is the Art of Drawing Without an Eraser. And uh, by a quote from John Gardner, um, so it's always that thing of life's not a rehearsal, you know, you can't go back and redo anything you've done. It's a one-time shot, and that's, that's kind of an argument for being conscious, and uh, that's what I mean with all my memos. Try to be conscious and, and aware, you know, when you're painting. <laughs> so anyway, thanks. I'll see you next time.